do that in a moment. And less. Ah, yeah, here we go. All right then, guys. Hello and welcome back to the Barbecue Empire's Best of Nine Bonanza. Down to the... Oh, wait. I'll do that. <laughs> game two. Um, second game. Obviously, Falcon Shrey winning that first one. And he is currently in blue down to the south of the map playing as Saracens. And do you have team colors on this time? Because I just turned it off because he didn't on the <laughs> other one. But anyway, to the top of the map, we do have a Poz Eddie playing in purple, potentially, and both of them playing as the Saracens. Yeah, playing in red on my screen because I do have that team colors on. Uh, so obviously, Saracen War on Arena, really interesting um, that they got these sieves. I don't know if they're going to be happy about that, but... Um, Obviously, Eddie choosing Arena right here, expected choice by him, as this is, of course, his home map. Yes, of course, because he did lose the first one, which does mean he did get his home map choice first. And it looks like Unstray trying to get no monk deal out of Eddie right there. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, that's like trying to get blood from a stone, trying to tell Eddie <laughs> not to use monks. Um, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Saracens have a very interesting, unique unit. Obviously, the Mameluke, uh, one of my personal favorites. Um, but it seems like Eddie's trying to make a, de a counter deal. How about instead of no monks, we go only monks? Ooh, too many secrets, and Shrey is saying he doesn't know enough, as we know Eddie, an arena champion, and with that, of course, comes this high-level monk play. Yeah, microing monks like a boss. Uh, but I've got to say, um, for Oak and Shrey, this is what I wanted to say before this game started. Uh, in the last 70 or whatever games it was on Voobly, uh, he's actually played Jon Snow more than anyone. And obviously Jon Snow, well-known arena player as well. I think, I think Falcon and Shrey can bust some moves on arena. Yeah, definitely. Like, as you said, Jon Snow, very well-known player, and as far as Arena goes, he's definitely prepared for this. Yeah, I, I certainly agree. So anyway, really interesting to see how this game goes. I mean, Eddie talking about monks already, perhaps he's trying to lead Falcon Shrey astray a little bit and uh, go for a castle drop instead, but I don't know. I mean, as Saracens, obviously the Saracen monk rush is a pretty famous strategy to use. Mixed in with a bit of siege can be pretty damaging. Yeah, that's it. Being able to utilize that market so well to get that early gold and then again be able to back that up with the Siege Workshop, all the extra gold you've been able to get from the market if a player chooses to go that route, of course, uh, means they can push really early with a lot of monks and a lot of Siege. Yeah, because we should have a quick look at Relic Placement here because, of course, that Relic Placement could be interesting. But before we do that, Eddie here trying to steal Falcon Shrey's boar. Falcon Shrey not having any of it. Trying oh, to block wow. That up. But look at that. Eddie's just going to stay in there. And Falcon Shrey, I don't know, he, yeah, just gives it up. He might get this. <laughs> I think he will. Falcon Shrey just going to give it up. He's, yeah, wow. That's lame. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you champ. <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty nice. I mean, that blocking from Falcon Shrey was really nice, but Eddie just hung in there and he microed that scout really well. So I've got to say, you know, Eddie going to be in a good position going into this because, of course, Fast Castle is on the cards. Um, where is, oh, other ball is on the right-hand side, so... Three boars ready, one for Falcon Shrey. Can't even get the steal back right now off Eddie. And I guess the good news is even if he did lose the boar at that point, it's not going through that gate. So yeah. I guess once it got to that gate, he was pretty much home clear. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, obviously now then, Falcon Shrey going to be forced to take these deer on the front. You know, perhaps he could try and lure uh, Eddie's deer towards a mill that he's going to build out, build out on the front. That would be quite fun. Yeah, definitely a good option there. But like you said before, Relic placement, so utterly yeah. important on Arena. And looking at this map, it seems like Falcon Shrey has the look of the draw. Um, most of these relics, I'd say, were on Falcon Shrey's side. I mean, if we split the map directly across the center, um, it looks like Falcon Shrey has the majority here. Yeah, I agree with that one. Looks like we've just got a quick pause. But at the moment, just looking at it, it looks like Eddie does have one relic inside his base there. Uh, but the rest, all fair game. It looks like and Shrey definitely a lot closer. Yeah, I mean, on the right-hand side, definitely. Eddie, of course, with one inside of his walls. Um, but as far as that's concerned, I mean, the rest are all up for grabs. So, obviously, that Castle Age pressure that comes out straight away going to be really crucial perhaps we could see some light cavalry coming in to secure some map control as well wait eddie... is, is eddie drushing <laughs> yeah eddie is making some militia <laughs> right now oh man <laughs> oh wow eddie you never cease to amaze us this this is your map i will give you that one this this is your map a hundred percent 
Yeah, Falcon Shrey not going to be expecting that at all. Of course, he is starting to steal those deer from Eddie right now, luring those towards his mill. But man, how often do you see drushing on Arena? You just don't. I, I think in my time casting, I've seen one successful drush in Arena, and this might make the second. If Eddie can follow those villagers into that gate, yeah. This is not going to be good for Falcon Shrey well, at all. This is the thing. If he can follow the villagers into the gate and keep the gate open, then Eddie's actually going to be able to send villagers in and perhaps even tower rush him. But either way, he's going to force Falcon Shrey off of the deer in the middle. And that is huge. Oh, wow. Because not only has Falcon Shrey lost his boar, he's also lost Wait. the deer. Will he get that scout under the gate? All right, that's I the question. He he's got to stop them under the gate now to leave it open. Is he going to do it? He's got <gasps> it. Oh, no. no. Oh, wait. Oh, he's going to do it on the right. No, oh, no. man. So close. <laughs> <laughs> you had like three shots uh, there. That's just unlucky. Man, Eddie really, really trying to get that. I'm gonna kill those deer anyway, just to make sure Falcon Shrey doesn't move back onto them. But man, if he'd have kept that gate open, that would have been huge. Um, could have come uh, in there with the militia. Could have even come in with some villagers to build towers. But either way, Eddie gonna be in a great position right now, uh, going up to the feudal age. But you've gotta bear in mind, he did build these militia, which are at this stage kind of wasted. Yeah, definitely. There was a good point there, but still, even pushing out those militia, he did steal his opponent's board and he's completely kicked him off deer now. Yeah. So that means really that in Australia, he's relying on berry bushes and farms right now. That's it. So never a good spot to be in. Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, as, as not say, early in the game. I mean, he did get it. Feel I feel like he got enough food off of those deer um, to to kind of just get in there. And Eddie's drush didn't exactly come in late, but I mean, if it was earlier, it would have been more effective here. Um, Falcon Shrey, though, as you say, forced to take berries, forced to build that second mill and well, actually third mill. So wasting a lot of wood here on building these mills and such, which is not an ideal situation. Of course, the scores. Very even, but where you've got to remember that where players invest their resources is what really matters. And Eddie right now, um, not going to have to build so many mills, not going to have to build so many farms, and that's the position he wants to be in. Yeah, that's right. And of course, at the moment, Falcon Shrey going to have trouble doing a fast castle, actually. He's yeah. got nearly no wood in there right now. He's got pretty minimal food. So I think Eddie's really, he has accomplished what he wanted to do here. Yeah, exactly. You know, Eddie could take these deer on the front if he wanted, but that's the biggest thing. Obviously, berries gather so slowly. Farms in the, well, dark and feudal age are going to be quite inefficient as well. And Falcon Shrey is going to struggle to get that food count up. Obviously, they are playing as uh, Saracens, so could utilize the market a little bit here. And we can see a market going down for yep. and Shrey straight away. Exactly what he's going to do. The only good news, I guess, for Eddie is now he can split up these militia and he can try and keep an eye on these relics right now. I think that's probably going to be the direct route he takes after taking out this mill. Yeah, uh, obviously taking out the house, costing him a little bit of wood, uh, obviously going to take that mill. But um, yeah, I agree with you totally on that. Taking control of map control, seeing where those relics are at, really crucial for him. Um, and also, Eddie now with the barracks, uh, sorry, not with the barracks, with the blacksmith and the market, a little bit off the 800 food, but he is going to fast castle reasonably, well, in a reasonably good oh, time. Bought it. Yeah, Just bought up the food there, so yeah. he will be going up to castle before Falcon Shrey there, even though he's got the drush behind that. Falcon Shrey, though, not as far behind as I thought he was going to be here, only needing, oh, Got oh, just so about close. enough food. So close, just need to drop a little bit more food and he will go up. And you know, that's not bad. I mean, you've had both, well, one boar stolen, you've had, you've been pushed off of deer, <laughs> and to be able to go castle in, I don't know, what, I mean, 20 seconds just later, that's really not so bad uh, at all. But Eddie now taking quite a lot of stone, and we could see him do that castle drop that we were talking about earlier, um, and it, I don't know, it, it could come in, because Falcon Shrey not taking any stone right now, and Eddie already has that map control. Yeah, Eddie's just got, he's pushed Falcon Shrey right back into his map now, so he's not going to be able to see this coming at all. He's got the stone count there, and even if he wants to, I don't know, he might just go castle and... Marmalik's very expensive unit, though, saying that, actually. I think what he'll probably do is drop the castle on the wall. I mean, there's, there's not really any gold or anything near to the wall, but Eddie, if he drops the castle on the wall, can break it down very easily with that, and then move in with monks, convert houses, convert yeah. buildings, convert whatever. Uh, probably something along those lines, I feel. Yeah, I feel like you're exactly right. There might even... Well, he's definitely going to need extra gold there to be doing it, of course. Going to be able to utilize that market. So it looks like we will be seeing really a one-town center play here from Eddie. Just going to go for massive aggression. Yeah, I mean, you'd be pretty mad not to, I feel, in this situation. He's in such a great position going into the Castle Age right now. His eco, really nicely balanced. He's been very efficient so far. And I feel that, yeah, going for that 1TC play is going to be 
pretty good for him. Falconry, on the other hand, well, I mean, he doesn't have the stone to put up a castle at all. Uh, not going to have that for some time. So I think it's just going to be all out monks for him. We can see his gold count getting quite high already. Yeah, he's just going to have to hold back and defend this one, I think. And really, if Eddie does put that castle up over on the right, could completely deny any relics for Falconstray. Yeah, that's huge. Of course, Eddie slightly further ahead in terms of getting up to the Castle Age, but three monasteries going down from Falconstray right now. Oh, and if he, wow. If he's got the gold to, to do it, and you know, if he gets those monks out, he can stop the castle going up quite easily just by converting the villagers. That's exactly it. Monks having an absolutely massive range on them. So if he sits them outside just just along his walls and Eddie has nothing to push them back, yeah. a castle might not even come up within range of the walls. Exactly. So I think monk count here, the number of monks they have, going to be really crucial. Eddie has got the stone for that castle, but not pushing out to build it yet. I think probably going to try and get some, uh, some monks out first, but I don't know, you know. I think Falconstray could defend this with three monasteries. A fourth one coming up actually right now oh, as well. <laughs> Looks like Eddie is pushing out now, so he will be getting that castle up very soon, but if he leaves it too late, gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Well I can say for Fabian Trey is. is whoa lolo. <laughs> that was too bad. <laughs> Uh, oh, wow. Going for a convert right there. Castle on the front. It's going to be in range of the walls, but is Falcon Shrey going to see it? Ooh. Is he going to get out there in time? Oh, the militia are in after that monk. <laughs> I don't know. He's going to. Oh, actually saying that, it could be bad for Eddie. Oh, no. Oh, leading off those militia. I was going to say bad for Falcon Shrey, but he didn't. He could have moved in and scouted the uh, the monasteries, but he didn't. So he's got no idea that Falcon Shrey's on four monasteries right now. He's only seen two monks as well, so that's that's good time. You know, he could have two out from the same monastery right now. Yeah. So Eddie, not knowing, he's about to walk into a wall of monks the, here. The problem is, Falconstray not going to get here in time, I feel. He, he's a little bit slow to move out. Going to see that castle, but it is a little bit too late. He, I don't think he's going to be able to get it. I guess the good news is for Eddie, though, he did get his militia back overall, but that <laughs> scout getting converted by the looks of things, and yes, that castle will be coming up. Yeah, so the castle is going to go up right there, and that is going to be able to... Ooh. Scout back what? for Eddie. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> that's mad. Um, yeah, that is possibly going to be able to make a way in. I don't know, actually. Is that in range? It's not attacking the wall. Doesn't look like it, actually. So can need some range upgrades there before he goes for it. Good news is for Eddie, though, it looks like he's got complete dominance over these relics right now. And Imperial for Eddie... Yeah, so he's going to go fast in, wow. perhaps get some trebs out as well. Um, more monasteries on the front, and as well as that, as you say, going to be able to secure these relics right now, which just means a little bit more monkage, really. <laughs> and of course right now, it's just coming down to wall of monk versus wall of monk. We're really going to see who has the better micro here. Yeah, which is kind of massive, because monk micro, pretty different to anything else, really. Um, I don't know if you've been watching the AOC Zone forums, but there's been discussion on there about uh, scripts that you can use to do monk yes. micro. Uh, hopefully, neither of these players are going to be employing any of those scripts today. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say not. These players both very well respected. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Mameluke's coming out for Eddie right now. Um, interesting choice. Wow. Uh, I mean, the Mameluke, it's such an interesting unit because obviously it does melee damage, but it's ranged. Uh, it also packs quite a bit of a punch once you've got a few upgrades on there, but it is so expensive. And, you know, in, conju right. in, in conjunction with monks, the amount of gold that that's going to take is quite substantial. So, interesting. Yeah, a Mameluke, it's worth 55 gold uh, food and 85 gold. Yeah. So that's a lot to be paying out, especially considering they don't have the fastest creation speed in the world. And when you've got monks going off the back of that as well, very expensive unit composition to choose. Yeah, I think so as well. Uh, but, you know, Eddie, going to be up to imp right now. We could see some more eco upgrades coming in just to keep his eco going nicely. But he is about to secure his fourth and probably fifth relic as well. Well, actually, he's not scouted it, but he's probably going to assume it's over here, which is a lot of gold income for him. There's the Imperial upgrade. Trebuchet out. And Falcon Shrey right now going to have to defend with his army of monks and with his soon-to-be Imperial upgrade. That's right right now. Like like I said, this is going to come a lot down to micro and just overall speed right now. Eddie actually scouting in really quickly here with this monk and ooh, potentially going to go for the conversion there, but he would lose it. Deleting that one off nice and quickly. Definitely good call there. Yeah, not going to waste anything at all. And uh, Eddie now 
gonna get that Treb out, and this is the kind of arena game that I like to see. One TC play from Eddie, a one TC play from Falcon Shrey, and it is literally just gonna be all out military and a ton of monks. I mean, Falcon Shrey has Ooh. so many monks right now. Two converts for Eddie off the bat already. Yeah, but they're gonna Ooh, get potentially a third and fourth. Oh man, Eddie just gonna delete them. <laughs> Well, yeah, he can't get them out and he doesn't need them, so it definitely makes sense. And that trebuchet right now, can be able to start to whittle down those monasteries. Yeah, I don't think that's such a big deal, to be honest with you, because Falcon Trey is up to the Imperial Age. Uh, going to be looking to get trebs out of his own, of course. That's going to be so crucial, because the treb war here is going to make quite a big difference. Um, but surprisingly, Eddie not really going for the gates, just, just going for these few buildings that are in range at this moment in time. Yeah, definitely a good idea, I think. Because at this point, the monks really, there's nothing that's going to be able to run out, and he doesn't need to run in right now. He does have a few Marmelukes there, but I don't think he's going to be able to run in with all the monks there. So I think he can really aim for the buildings at this point, and not really lose any kind of time. Yeah, I certainly agree with you. Um, I don't know, though. He's going for the wall right now. I don't know if Falcon Tree has enough to defend. I mean, he's just continuing with these monk upgrades, continuing with the monks themselves. Obviously, 9 plus 3 range right now on Falcon Tree's monks. Same for Eddie as well. And I don't know, it's going to come down to who's got the best micro. Yeah, I agree. Either that or we see like a light cavalry spam into the base as well. Like That could definitely come off well, but with the ecos the players have, that's just not an option right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, look at the food income for Falcon Tree. He has, what, three farms. Uh, food <laughs> income for Eddie, a little bit more, but it's not enough to sustain production of light calves. And, you know, even Mameluke's going to be pretty tough to uh, keep production up and obviously going to opt to make trebuchets at this stage. Man, so many monks on the map. It's kind of cool. I agree, it's just going to be walls of monks here, just going into it. There's nothing else to say, except for the fact this is just going to be micro-intense players at the moment. I would be feeling nervous going into this situation, knowing it comes down to this single factor. Yeah, so would I, I mean... <laughs> The funny thing is, obviously, with Monk Wars, you convert your enemies, monks, they convert you, and then you try and delete them before they convert it back, and it, you just end up deleting your own army. <laughs> That's exactly it, and you end up with like three or four monks left at the end, and you wonder where all your monks went. Yeah, so there we go, we're gonna get started right now. Couple from Eddie so far getting converted, he's gonna do exactly what he can, converting them back, and oh man, this is gonna get so messy. This is indeed Mamluk's already been converted twice. <laughs> Those monks are converted, converted as back many as times. well. Uh, converted back and uh, this is absolutely a hectic right now. Trebuchet is two lost on the front already though for Falcon Shrey right now and only one for Eddie. So a little bit ahead right now in the Trebuchet war. Um, Mamluk's gonna come in, gonna try and take out as many monks as they can right here. And so far doing a pretty Ooh. good job. I've got to say these Mamluk's not getting converted yet. Two go converted, one still remains gonna get amongst them just, uh, i just imagine these players like the clicks that they've just made kind of insane Three i numbers. want to see an apm level right then <laughs> <laughs> it's so retarded uh. um so eddie then gonna probably try and convert these mamelukes back right now um obviously falcon Shrey here managing to convert them from him losing quite a few monks though and trebs as well that's a that's the huge thing the treb war is going to be so important right here and it looks like falcon Shrey starting to come on top in terms of monks as well gonna start bringing those forwards right now yeah these might be the world's most confused mamelukes i believe <laughs> but still it looks like eddie just pumping up monk after monk after monk yeah and the same goes for entry and they're just getting killed off converted and just replenished as fast as possible it's just so funny i mean these three mamelukes in the middle here i mean changing back and forth so much <laughs> it's just it's just ridiculous uh, so confused I don't know, I mean, Eddie now seems to have more monks out, but I mean, that could change in an instant. Uh, the Treb War is starting to go in favour of Falcon Shrey right here, though, and um, that is kind of a big deal, as obviously that will mean the difference between losing those castles or not, but Mamelukes are out for Eddie still, if he doesn't get converted, and man, this, this sound, it's nuts. Uh. <laughs> may need to kill the sound in a minute but still it looks like eddie is actually pushing in with his army of monks now he is ready to take the gates completely right now yeah falcon show really does not have anything in terms of monk production at this stage i mean well sorry not monk production but actual monks he's really lacking them starting to put up a lot more monasteries as well at the back but eddie oh, wow. clearly has the numbers here and <laughs> falcon show trying to kill his monks with his trebs wherever he can as well 
Well, those trebuchets do have 16 range, so they're not exactly in the biggest danger of being converted right now. But the fact is, Eddie has all the relics except one right now, and that's just because he doesn't know where it is. Yeah, but still, that's, that's so much free gold. Yeah, that's a lot of free gold. Gonna add up very quickly indeed. Uh, Falcon straight going for those monks where he can with those trebs, and just, it's, it's, it's nuts. I, I don't even know what to say right now. It's just... <laughs> All I know is monks are just so friendly, they're just chilling next to each other. It's fantastic to see a game like this. They're trying to preach they're... to each other. The same religion. Oh, got a trebuchet! Delete oh, it. there we go. No, no, delete no. it! I don't think he needs to delete it. He needs to start killing the monasteries again. That'd be quite funny. <laughs> okay, gonna get to convert the trap back. No problem. Quick, delete it. Delete it, Eddie. Oh, oh no, he got it back. Nice one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Holy! <laughs> look at the amount of monks for Eddie. <laughs> Oh man, what is it? 20, 20 monks for on Shrey, 24 for Eddie. It's actually pretty close, still. Oh wow. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I want to know the. I'm gonna check the achievements right now just to see what okay. we've got. Yeah, check the All achievements. Right. I wanna see so far. In society, we have. Where am I looking? Technology. Ah, uh, where are you? Military. Units converted, 50 for Falcon Shrey and 44 for Eddie. So Falcon Shrey has the advantage in terms of units converted right now, which is pretty yes, good. Yes, indeed. That's pretty good. But he is starting to fall behind in score, both of them, still on one TC, which I find quite hilarious. And, you know, this is looking pretty stalemate at the moment. They've really not moved all that much in the last five or six Ooh. minutes. Here we go. It looks like Falcon Shrey is pushing out. He wants to get rid of Eddie off the front. Yeah, but Falcon Shrey here, I feel he's got more monks. If he micros as well, a lot of Eddie's monks are going to die. But they're going to get taken out by that castle so quickly. Yes. Which so is... I guess at this point, the fact when Falcon Shrey actually gets a monk convert here, it will effectively kill the monk. Yeah, exactly. So, oh man. This is this is crazy. I, I think I think Falcon Shrey still has the, the advantage in numbers. 26 to Eddie's 24. Slight advantage there. Don't know what's going on on this right side. Looking like he's going to try and take that gold, but the gate is locked by the looks of things. Um, maybe you'll notice that in a minute, that pile up of bullies oh, wow. there. But yeah, definitely not looking good for Falcon Trey's economy there. Uh, hopefully he'll spot that relic though and be able to get himself a single relic here. Yeah, maybe. The thing that I find quite amusing about this is that they're, they're, they're converting each other to the same religion because they're both the same civ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's a civil war at its best, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah, I definitely agree with you on that. These trebs, it's so funny to see the trebs just flatten the monks as well. I find that quite hilarious. <laughs> but I think Falcon Shrey just realizing that gate was locked right there. Gonna go out. See that uh, relic as well. He knows that's there. Why has he not gone for it oh, yet? Fantastic. What do we got? And a town center. Second town Whoa. center coming up. Finally for Falcon Shrey. 40 Minute minutes 40. in. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like he's going to uh, take the rest of the gold piles where he can as well. Interesting that Eddie's not really gone for map control. I mean, yeah, sure, he's, he's got this area here, but not on the right side where the extra golds are, which is kind of a big deal. He's also not scouted. The fact that he's actually got a gold pile in the back of his base right here. Which oh, he's wow, that is that is not helpful at all. But I guess he couldn't really scout without deleting any of this wall. And it might have been under a little bit of pressure there. But yeah, the fact that Falcon Tray has been able to walk right out of his base here uncontested uh, it really says a lot on yeah. how much gold he's going to be able to have in the end game here. Yeah, I don't know if these guys are going to keep up with the monks because it does end up very stalemate. Maybe one of them's going to break the mold, try something a little bit different. I mean, come on, $30 at stake. I, you've got to play your hardest here. Um, six, six kilos of organic bananas. <laughs> exactly. So, really crucial. But as we said, Falcon Shrey able to just walk out of his base right here, take these extra resources, and that is a huge deal for him. Obviously, Eddie has still got those uh, relics. They've been generating a lot of gold income for this entire game so far, but looks like he's getting ready to push right now. He has got the treb advantage. That's right, but it looks like there's a lot of monks there for Enshrey. In fact, it, it looks like there's a lot of monks for both of them, actually. 29 so, for Falcon Shrey, 26 for Eddie. It's still very close. Uh, when you consider the gold wow. cost of that, 29 monks, that's 2,900 gold. <laughs> just quite a lot. This is going to come down to complete just gold count and micro. That's exactly what this game is based on right now. All right, so here we go again, then. Let's see how this one goes. Falcon Shrey going to try and convert as many as he can right here. They're probably going to be trying to micro their asses off. Um, you can see the bot not in a fade to com perform a conversion. He's just spamming. Spamming like crazy. Oh, wow. Just Trebuchet is even just trying to pick off as many monks as they can. A good hit there for Eddie, though. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Uh, it's just mad. You just don't see this. I I don't even know what to say at this stage. It's yeah, just at crazy. this stage, there's nothing left to say except just watch the awe of the amount of conversions we're seeing. Oh, three monks absolutely oh. flattened, four even, by those trebs right there. Wow. And Eddie right now has taken the advantage. There is no question about it. Looking at that Definitely. monk count, 11 for Falcon Shrey, 28 for Eddie, another, another hit from those trebs. Oh man, who'd have thought trebs would be so useful? <laughs> Well, they're useful to go, but as far as killing monks, this is absolutely perfect. Oh, like th two monks, one monk left. Yeah, that's all. There the monks. we go. GG from Falcon Whack. Shrey. He says, "At least I can give up." That was a damn funny game. Uh, Eddie uh, gonna take it all down to the micro right there. All down to the micro. That, that was absolutely fantastic to view, and I'm happy I we were the ones that got to watch that. That was. Oh uh, yeah, that was uh, brilliant. I don't even know. Insane. That's <laughs> It's exactly what I've wanted to say. This is what this tournament is designed for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's awesome. Um, so anyway, it's currently tied up at one all. Obviously, Eddie going to take that game. Falcon Shrey taking the first. Uh, game number...